Hi, Selena. First of all, congratulations for, for your appointment as Miss Universe Philippines Passing City. So, you consider uh, as a pageant veteran since you, you joined uh, two national uh, competitions already, Philippine Filipinas and Century Super Bowl. Yes. Okay. So, um, so as a pageant veteran, you've seen uh, the last game of the pageant ring. In the, in the recent years, so last uh, 10 years or so. How you describe the landscape of pageantry in, in the last 10 years or so? Uh, landscape. Landscape. Pageantry landscape. landscape. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's fun and it's happy to be back again in the world of pageantry. I mean, I've done it way really long. Thank you so much. Thank you, Celia. And now it's here from Mars Grant. Bye, Mars. Nice to see you again. Um, congratulations. Um, on our students. Um, I'm going to do something on this year's business class. So, okay, congratulations. Mars, one question I have is, this year's Miss Universe Philippines, what about your batch here, I say blood, blood, batch, what is your mindset? Well, the mindset is just to focus on myself. I mean, I think for my age and my experience in life, it's already has set me apart from all the younger girls from me in this year. So I think I'm just going to focus on myself, do what I do, what I know what I do best at, and just give it a hundred percent of who I really am. A final question now. Since uh, you're a mother of two and a successful one for your husband, how was the support system of your family now that you are a official candidate of the Miss Universe of the Well, my kids and my family have always been my number one support system. Thank you so much, Mark, and good luck with your family. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's hear now from Justin from Stashes and Script. Uh, hello, good afternoon, and congratulations for the new shiny ground. Thank so, you. So, you're still going to be talking about, about mothers in the in this universe. Because, you know, Ms. Venezuela this year is the mother, the single mother of the team for this universe last year. On. And last year we had Colombia, who was like a top five in the universe. So how are you going to distinguish yourselves among all of these women, mothers, who are also competing or competed at this universe? Dahil, syempre, ang mga fans, nakita na nila na may nanay na yan, mayroon na siyang, mayroon na siyang na-establish sa buhay niya, 
and um, there's a lot of you know mothers that are already achieving the same. So how are you going to distinguish yourself so that many back to you? Um, well, with age, as you know, comes experience, and then with um, motherhood comes your purpose. So my purpose is to, and I have compared to all the other women, I think I have had more life experiences from all of them. And I think that's why I'm older than I am older. Thank you and uh, congratulations. Thank you. And now we're here from Jonathan from the town. I'm so here. Hi, Gavin. So, uh, so we're going to ask uh, who are you most excited to do now? In the final question. So, uh, who are you most excited to do in the final question? Um, oh, I'm most excited to be uh, Alexi. Alexi. Yeah, Alexi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to the crowd. Now here from Adam Minato from Jane and Chief. Thank you, Kelly. Hi, Serena. Great seeing you again after Century Tuna Superbox. Yes, hi, nice to see you again. Yes, yeah, so, you know, can you walk us through your decision making process? of competing for the pageant this year. Because, you know, as I was doing my research about you, we for I forgot that you already competed in Filipino Filipinas before. So, so from then until now, so, syempre, I, you thought that you wouldn't be able to compete anymore. So, can you walk us through your decision process? What led you to decide talaga to finally join Miss Universe Philippines? Well, I think it's an easy answer. When the age limit was lifted, of course I was a yes. Of course, maybe comes once. So why not try it now? I mean, the beauty pattern, our pattern being stage is the biggest platform. Our hour was just to be heard. Our hour, uh, I hope it is to be heard. So I want to maximize this platform so that I can reach as many women, as many mothers. That is not the way to be where I want to be. As well as we said, um, last question, what's your advocacy all about? My advocacy is about resilience. Um, that uh, whatever you face and hurdles that you pass through in life, you must always um, look at it uh, forward. Um, that you will be able to get through it. Thank you. Let's hear from Bench from Flash Factor. First of all, congratulations. May God walk us again and again. Thank you. Yes, um, my question for you is as Miss Universe is doing for a transformational leader, what can you offer to the universe? Daughter, and someone who can shrug 
things when people say that your things are not valid. You're already old. You cannot do, you cannot compete anymore. You cannot be where you want to be. I want to challenge and push everybody that it's not too late to try. I mean, opportunity always comes to one. So why not grab that opportunity, make the most out of it, and push forward? You never know the universe aligns for you. And the universe is really aligned for you now. Let's get up here from our TikTok superstar, Dara Velasco. Hello, Selena. Good afternoon. Um, your whole look right now serves me or serves God as a baby. Her God is of love and beauty, so let me ask about beauty. How do you want your teeth inside beauty? And how do you want your whole family see you as a baby? Well, I don't want my kids to see beauty as a physical appearance. I want them to someday see that beauty is in the totality of a person. You don't get to judge a person by sitting in your own hand. You have no right to do that. But I want them to instill in them that no matter what a person looks like, as well as their figure, is always aligned with what they are and with what other people want. Then that for me is the true definition of beauty. So we have our role model as per children, but the next generation of classics. Let's now hear from Brian Canada, also from TikTok. Hello, Selena. Hi. Hi. What is the meaning of the mystery for a slide of our house and why should you be here? Well, as I mentioned a while ago, Thank you, and last but not least, let's hear from Oya for the Philippines. 
Wait lang. Wait lang lang. Wait lang lang. And our Bologna Catholics, if you could please join us. 